Sometimes in life, a lot of people are going through problems, going through financial downfall, going through sickness, going through a lot of negative things as a result of what they have said by themselves or as a result of what they did by themselves. Not knowing that is the particular problem or that is the particular thing that is causing that particular thing they are going through in life. It can happen in your marriage. It can happen in your finances. It can happen in your health life. It can even happen in your children's life when you don't amend this particular thing and ask God Almighty to take it away from you. So stay tuned while I share with you why you may be the cause of the problems you are going through. And I promise you after this topic, your life will never remain the same. Thank you all. If you are joining me for the first time, thank you for joining. My name is Promise. All right. In this channel, I talk mainly or more about spiritual tips, how to use natural things for spiritual uses. So if you find it interesting and you want to start your journey in spiritual way using the natural things that has no evil attached to it or no side effect, please do ring the bell notification and don't forget to subscribe as well to always get my videos and for my returning subscriber thank you very much all for coming back always i love you and stay blessed so guys from the title you've heard what i said i am talking on why you may be the cause of what you are going through in life number one the words that you speak is very powerful the words that you speak in, in your life in the life of your children is so powerful and it is an engine that manufacture your tomorrow either in a positive way or in a negative way. Now, let me start with, if you are a mother, sometimes you mind the ways you speak in the life of your children. Sometimes we neglect this particular part because we felt it's nothing. But this is the almost half of the problems a lot of people, both young and old, are going through in life. So if you are a mother, before you do anything, sit down and ask yourself, where did this particular thing happening to me started? Where did this rain start beating me? Believe you me, by the time you start analyzing this, by the time you start reasoning this, you are very near to your sources. You are very near to the solution of that particular problem. Let me tell you, the words that we speak every day is so powerful. The words you speak in the morning, the words you speak in the afternoon, and the way you speak in the evening, they are all powerful. Don't take it for granted. Now, sometimes some people may be going through in life something, and they will always be speaking negative things like, oh, I am I'm dead. Oh, the business has collapsed. Oh, my life has gone. Oh, this, 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 this. Not knowing that these are the things that you are putting under your angel's table to manufacture your tomorrow. I told you everyone has an assigned angel. Every has, everyone has an assigned guardian angel. And whatever you say, especially your words, is what your angels are recording to your curator, to your God, to manufacture your tomorrow. You may be looking at today and see that today is so bad, it's so negative, but always believe and keep speaking positive. Believe you me, that positive things will surely come to pass. Now, some people will be like, when you ask them, oh, my dear, how is business? We don't do they will their response will be in a negative way, like oh, the business is not moving, the business is dead, the business is this. Yes, even if you see that business is dead, all you need to be doing go to that shop, go to that business, stand there barefooted, speak into existence with your words, with your mouth. You can pray yourself out, you don't need anybody to pray you out. God has given you the power, He has given you the ability, He has given you the strength to save yourself. to to deliver yourself, to pray yourself out. When you pray, God will answer. If there is man to pray, there is God to answer. But when you keep complaining negative things in your life, and you thought maybe you want to attract woman feelings, you want to attract woman sympathy, my dear, you are gradually destroying your future. So as an, as an adult, anytime you're going through some challenges, anytime you're going through some things that did not please you, always keep Bringing positive, see, keep speaking positive. Like, even if somebody says, How is this particular sickness? I am healed, I am fine. That person, with his sense or has, you will know that yes, you are still going through that particular thing, but you are speaking positive, you are speaking into existence. Because anytime you start speaking negative things about your life, it works very well, it makes that negative things which only manifested. 
all you need to do that anytime that you are into some challenges like that get yourself original honey that is why i told you that you don't need honey to to finish in your home you don't need to lack honey in your home get original honey anytime especially midnight as a human go the way you came into this world that is power in playing that way when you go into that when you do because when you stand the way you came into this world get a water and get this honey put the honey inside that bucket of water put it at the center of your two legs you can sit down you can stand up make sure your two legs are in between that the water is in between your two legs start praying to god start speaking into existence start saying positive things again in your life start praying your praying for your husband start praying for your children bless them bless your husband's business that business that is not going women you have power we women will have power we have so much power to settle everything that we're going through in our home stop gossiping it's not about gossiping it's not about looking for friends don't look for friends Seal down and pray your family out. When you don't pray, in speaking into that water, speaking to existence. Oh God, this is water. This is honey. This is things that you created. My life will not remain like this. I must change this situation. You must change this situation for me. This situation that my husband is going through has to stop. This financial problem that we're going through has to stop. If I am a woman and you brought me into the, you know, you speak, pray. So you cry, if you can cry, cry to God. Let both the, the tears enter inside that water. Let even the spit enter inside that water the way you are praying. You need to vibrate. Talk to your God. Talk to your creator. Stop going from one place to the other in search of solution. You have, you have power to solve that your problem. The reason is that sometimes you don't know the power, you don't know the ability, you don't know the strength you have as a human. This recipe is also for men. Are you a man? When you do this business, it's, it's collapsed. Do second one, it collapsed. Go to your news, get a honey and a clean water, put it in a bucket, put it in between your leg. Pray to God, pray to the uh, universe. I will not remain the same. This, con this situation can never continue like this. I can never be a borrower. I cannot go and be borrowing from one place to the other in order to feed my family. Start praying to existence. After you've done praying, take that water into your bedroom. Use it and bet. As a betting, pray to God, Lord, as I'm betting with this water, water is life. Honey brings good things. Honey attracts good energy. As bears chase honey, let men chase me. As bears chase honey, let customer, let connection, let blessing, let prosperity, let favor. 12 o'clock a.m., go on your news, do this prayer, and you'll see things will change. And also as a mother, especially mothers, if you are the type you always lay courses on your children, you have to stop it because you are not doing yourself good. What you are sowing is the seed that you are going to reap. Because once you keep speaking negative things in the life of your children, when they start suffering it, nobody will be there to help you. So always call your children. If you have five, if you have two children, sometimes if they are still small, call them as a mother. Put a, use your right middle finger, take a, a honey, put it on their nerve. Is that what they call the, uh, uh, yes, nerve or what? The, uh, we call it apple to me. I don't know what you called it. Put your hands there and start praying to them. Go, this is, you understand what? Go, this is the child I gave birth to. He will, so, he will make it. He will be a personality. He will be somebody that everybody will want to come in contact with. Whatever he touches his hand shall go well. He will be bigger than his age mates. You start speaking, speaking into existence. After that, put another honey, honey in your three lines like this. Spit on it. When you spit on it, pray on it. After praying with it, put it in the water and bet that your child. You are going to see, but academically, your that child will be doing well. If your child are all grown, Use it, put honey in between your palm, the three lines. Put your spit in there, put your spit there, and call down the name of your children. If there are five, call their names. Wherever you are, I am speaking into existence into your life. That your business that is not moving from today henceforth, if I be your mother and, and give back to you from today, I speak with my strength, with my power as a mother. Let that situation turn for good. Let that, let that business pick up from where it stopped.
let that visa comes out let that document comes out let you just pray after praying put it inside a bucket of water use it and bet i am betting this thing representing my children wherever they are let their life become sweet and you see them sometimes i have a woman that always do this and you see if you see all her children they are all doing so well people will be like oh she's doing magic she's going to net no she used the power of her strength she used her ability she used her own woman strength to stand for their children positively praying for them so you have power to do that as well so please in my next video i'm going to share with you on a ways you have to be speaking in the life of your children and the ways you must not speak in the life of your children because they all have advantage or disadvantage in their life and if you are watching me and your mother or your parents are still alive please always make it a habit to give them something sometimes surprise them go to them let them pray for you let them lay their, their hands on you it's more than the hands you are going from one place to the other they are laying on you that you don't know what they put in their hands that you don't know the power behind what behind what they are using to pray for you i'm not saying there is no genuine one there is genuine ones but there is fake ones as well there is some places you entered for the search of solution you contact more so more problem to yourself so use your ability use your strength as a human use the power of your words to solve your problem and the universe will bless you stay tuned why in my next video i will share with you more on this topic thank you for watching and stay blessed bye